Hey, what's up, my crowns and tiaras? Welcome to E-Toxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly, all right? Now, I got some stuff I got to talk about. Something that just happened to me, y'all, and it's just funny as F, and I got to talk about it. But we're going to be talking about Caramel, Barbie, Roly, Cat and Stunner, Krishan, and Blueface, okay? We are going to get into some stuff, and I just want to make a public announcement, and here we go go let's talk about caramel the barbie yes this is the female that got ghosted by Blueface. you already know i spoke about it so has everybody else but guess what shorty is in my inbox upset all right now let's let's get into it so i went on her story she posted one of my instagram posts okay and then she captioned it it's the comments for me if you ain't a dummy why your bd get his side chicks pregnant She's laughing about the Jade and Alexis, okay? So, he he ha, ha, right? It's so funny, right? Until it's you. Now, she goes to my inbox and, like, what city you in? I'm like, New York, what's up? She said, oh, just making sure you wasn't in Atlanta. You hiding behind keyboards. I'm like, girl, what the F you talking about? Hiding from who? I said, what is your issue? I said, you mad because I said what I said? I said, I never directly said nothing to you. Just giving my opinion on the mess with the shrugging shoulders now y'all in the comments be really thinking y'all be coming for me i have actual people that i talk to that be in my inbox ready to unalive me like crazy now she tries to instagram audio me and of course i do answer and let me tell you it was a sh show all right it lasted about two minutes she really barely was even saying anything calling me ugly um this and this and that and she's threatening me da 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 talking about i lied on her what am i lying on all right what exactly am i lying on all right so i try to screen record but it's a thing that you have to do to press it to have the audio also record but i forgot to do that and unfortunately it wasn't because you know this is content i'm gonna talk about it because she is somebody that i am giving my opinion on but she really wasn't saying nothing like you have to be really that pressed about opinions about stuff that you did that was your decision baby then also i tried to call her back because i was trying to get that screen recording and she blocked me mm -hmm. now this is the rest of her message you're not giving opinions you want some bully stuff trying to defame people character you don't know nothing you don't know me from a paint but yeah you all on my mm, for what that's how girls get shh and end up on the ground not her threatening me oh god oh well um can't wait and then she says you scared see me when you see me because i hung up the phone because i was trying to get that screen recording because we literally were just going back and forth and nobody was really listening to nobody so it was like all right it really defeats the purpose but it is what it is because clearly shorty was in her bag okay when i tell you but let me just say this y'all opinions are opinions you can agree or disagree like i said she she's a grown woman all right if you decided that you want to go mess with blue face and just have that under your belt then that's on you that's your problem okay we're gonna get into the stuff that i was gonna talk about anyway about her but you know she had her 15 seconds of fame nobody really talking about her like that so this would be my last video talking about shorty unless her and Blueface meet up and he exposes her or something drastic happened. Like her and Jaden end up linking and fighting. Something drastic. But she's a bye-bye. Now, this is what she had put out with um, Krishan Rock in a picture. She guess she was on Blueface Story. And this explains why he didn't show up. She had him in a choco. He couldn't escape her at all. She probably cussed him out so bad he had no choice but to make up a lie. So she's still making excuses of why he didn't come. Free trip and just made triple my rent. Thank you, Blue. You the goat. Because, you know, she's doing her promo. Okay. Um, Answer me this. Would y'all really have enjoyed a free trip to LA by yourself enough to get Ken? She, she, uh, she basically saying all right would you enjoy a free trip and these type of things that can happen but yes those type of things can happen and those are risks that you're taking when you go flying out to meet a guy that you don't even know and you already know how he give it up so it's like you're putting yourself at risk that was your choice nobody told you to go out there dolo in no hotel meeting trying to meet up with no blue face like girl snatch you up you will go missing, sex trafficking, you will never see your family again. So for y'all to be laughing at this, like it's funny. Then she puts clown activity, the nerve of you to come at me when, meanwhile, you in a club throwing up on people and getting 
put out this was because of the jade and alexis the rumor that she was in a club she got drugged out by the security because she was throwing up on people that was the rumor but it was supposed to be had been a lollipop in her mouth or something but she didn't clear it up or you know said anything about it but like i said here she go worrying about Jaden and Alexis. But like I said, it was her choice. So nobody, you can't get mad at nobody. You decided that you want to come on the line publicly and, you know, try to expose Blueface. But it turned around on you. It backfired on you. You thought she was going to get sympathy. You thought you was going to get famous. But like, oh my God, why would he do this? Nobody's even really giving sympathy for real, for real to his baby mothers. Krishan and Jaden and Alexis. Like, it's just like, it's, it's just not giving. So I don't know how special she thought she was about to be or if she thought she was going to get something really out of it. You did get a little 15 minutes, of, you know, a little 15 minutes of fame blue face and everybody recognized you and you know everybody's talking about the situation not only you they talking about the situation because blue face is also involved but ladies let's get it together okay we know how these men are so if you decide that you got played or ghosted or whatever that's on you take that l and carry on like it's never that serious now, I also want to address this Roly situation in my comments. Y'all calling body shaming, hater, all type of stuff y'all talking about. I love me some Roly, okay? I am all for her weight loss journey, BBL, whatever she decided to do, fine, good. It's her body. She do what she wants to. But when she mess, started messing with her lips, messing with her face, I put it out there and I said, all right, she's doing a little bit too much. I did say she's getting everything done besides her elbows and her knees, Okay, because she is getting everything done from the top to the bottom. And that's like a drastic change. So this was the a picture everybody was putting up. Um, Roly said she was getting her lips done. They was like, oh, I don't see no difference. Is this a joke? Is she lying? What is the difference? Oh, this is a rumor. Da, 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 da. So what I did was, okay, this is the person. Now she says, I had the pleasure of giving Roly two mLs of needless lip filler. These results are beautiful and natural. So have you thought of getting lip filler, but you're nervous about the end result? So she goes on to say this. So this is just a confirmation that this person from Beauty Best Studios is the one who gave Roly her fillers. Now, like I said, it's Roly's body. I mean, everybody has opinions. It doesn't matter. We don't have, you don't, nobody asks for my opinion, but it doesn't matter. I'm still giving it like a lot of people do. Okay. That's just life. Okay. You can't be upset over people's opinions. It's not a make or break. It's just an opinion. Okay. So y'all can stop with it. Okay. I love me some Roly. Roly's going to do what she has to do and what she wants to do. And that's just on period. But I still feel like messing with your face because once somebody gets one surgery, they just start messing with and meddling and everything else on their body. And then they start looking crazy. So don't say that people don't be out here looking crazy because that's my opinion. People be doing way too much to their body, overdoing it or, you know, touching it up a little bit more. And then it just start looking weird. The face start looking discombobulated. The body start looking mismatched. You look like Jigsaw. Like... It just and then a lot of the women are really beautiful natural bodies beautiful faces and they just feel the need that they have to do this and not a lot of people have to do this you don't have to do anything now remember amadi or however you say his name the one that's trying to out blue face as being on the low okay he's still going on in his stories and i must say that i'm starting to think it's a cloud thing okay because you never know it could be 50 50 um i was definitely 50 50 in the middle but now that he's doing a little bit too much i feel like he's looking for a cloud and i'm gonna let y'all know exactly what he put on his stories to make me really think of this he goes and says you still with don't ask me them type of questions and he posted the picture like boy this is what he says y'all want tea i'm taking no less than 20 bands period mm -hmm. that's giving clout boy bah ain't nobody paying no damn 20 bands then he posts Krishan rock up there talking about she wasn't even rapping for real the crazy part how do you even lip rap we had fun though this is a memory from June 12, 2022. He's, he was around them at that time. He also posted this and says, I said what I said. June 11, 2022 memories. Boy, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I don't know. If Blueface is really on the low, if we have some concrete evidence, uh, 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 a re recording, a uh, video recording, a phone conversation, something legit to actually say, okay, that's Blueface. There's definitely no doubt about it. But we can't do that with the information that you're giving, baby. Try again. Next caller. 
Now we got Krishan Rock. She has went on live, said a couple things that I want to discuss. And she also popped out with Yaya Mayweather. Like, what is going on? All right, so she went on live. Her baby bump is definitely bumping. There's no Photoshop, no nothing. This is actual videos. Her stomach's there, y'all. So everybody that's, you know, like, even me, I'll, I'll start seeing the baby bump. I just accept it and, like, listen, she pregnant, okay? I'm quiet for a reason. <laughs> Y'all like surprises, me too. Now, she's talking about the situation with Caramel the Barbie and Blueface and him ex being exposed and all this other stuff. And she's saying she has been quiet for a reason and there's a surprise coming up. What do y'all think that the surprise that she's going to be announcing soon? Hmm? Regarding the situation, because it has to be something in that matter, okay? Now, let's fast forward to this. Whatever you do with him, that's on you and him. Me, my so she basically saying she's unbothered, that's not her man, they're not together, but y'all already know they currently are still filming Crazy in Love Season 2, right? All right, so that's just that, all right? They say there's plenty of time, so let's just hope that this time around that she's actually gonna go through with it. Leave him alone, focus on her, her baby. She also does say that she is chained, like she's, um, you know, got a plan and all this stuff down the road and she's gonna be doing for her she's not gonna be worried she basically sound like she got it all figured out okay do y'all think that she got it all figured out now she and natalie was on the jet they are doing you know the season for baddies ease and everything's going on now look at the baby bump she's baby bumping it okay baby bumping it up okay how do y'all feel like what do y'all what do y'all think she has let me know down in the comments below if you think it's a boy or girl i don't know for some reason i'm thinking it's a boy i don't know what it is i'm really thinking it's a boy so let me know what y'all think girl or boy down in the comments also do y'all think that she really is trying to change get away from blue face sh like slowly but surely um you think that she's gonna eventually think about the baby because the thing that i'm about to talk about right now is not giving very much i have a baby in my stomach and i need to try to figure some things out like she said in a previous live so let's just get into it and like i said this is allegedly everything that is being out on here and also with my opinions okay that's just that Now, Krishan here is like, okay, you was crazy in love. That gave you a reason to do what you did. Y'all already know y'all, y'all weathers, you know, the stuff that she went through and what she did, okay? Now, Krishan Rock says, oh, I would have, I would have, I would have, I would have unalived somebody. I would have burned the house. Now, I would have did all of this girl. You still got that same mind frame. Like, these two together is a big no for me. And on top of that, why the heck does Krishan Rock look lit? Why every time she looks lit, y'all? And why is her clothes so daggone so more do she not know that she's gaining weight and getting bigger and she needs bigger bras and clothes like i'm just saying y'all because it's always something popping out something tight falling out from the side like girl you're getting bigger get bigger clothes leave blue face stay away from all these toxic other people that you keep surrounding yourself with like it's just getting out of hand at this point and that stunner girl and cat out here online exposing each other and that cat doing interviews being fake popping it about stunner girl when you was up stunner girl but the whole season girl trying to be right by her side and this and this and that acting like you was caring and you was helpful and you cared about stunner and the situations that she was going through in the house but then you go on interviews and say this getting woke up by stunner at one point like get up make sure you don't jump me but i'm like <laughs> So here she's in an interview talking about Stunner, of course, making it seem like Stunner was annoying and, you know, she was just doing this and that. She's like, oh, you're grown. I'm older than these girls. I got nothing in common. Just talking and just popping it. <laughs> so you mean to tell me this is how you was feeling about Stunner Girl the whole time you was in her face, giving her a rise, doing this and doing that. This is how you truly felt. It's given very much fake. It's given very much, um, I don't know who to believe because Thunder Girl always had issues and I can see why. She had females like Cat around her, hee hee hi, but also didn't like her and was jealous, envious, or whatever the case may be that these females had against Thunder Girl because Thunder Girl literally was minding her business unless she was doing something off the camera that we didn't know about that started the fuse. But every time that we looked at it on the outside looking in, everybody was messing with Thunder and was giving hater vibes, especially Biggie. Bringing my name up in the wildest interviews that don't get no f views. Just act like they wasn't attaching themselves to me 
But we sure cut it up with my homie getting fingered. I mean, it is what it is. Um, is. I'm not going to say that it's true or it's not true. It's, it could be possible. You never know. Everybody was hanging around at one point before everything started getting messy. But she's going to say what she said after she, you know, people sent her stuff with the interviews. And look what Kat said. <laughs> but yeah, you know what you were sucking. But the fact that you told me that you are about it, that was the crazy part. So even if Kat is saying something that is true and Stunna did do whatever she had to do to get the exposure and, you know, the little special treatment that Stunna Girl was getting, you know, um, if that is true, then we already know that the main person that anybody would have to do anything to is Lemuel, the CEO of Zeus, okay? And we already know that's Janisha is the host that be hosting the baddies reunions. That's her husband, okay? Now, like, if this is true and Stunna Girl did that and Stunna did say that her man knew about it, that's giving very much pimp vibes, okay? Pimp vibes, all right? And he probably like, yeah, babe, do what you got to do. Get this money. Nah, let me stop. I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm just saying if that is the case, that's crazy. If that is the scenario, all right? Let's get into what Stunna and her man have to say on the live. Now, Stunna said after the shows, she was with him, okay? And then he said, I was at every location. But was you in the house? Was you was around Zeus in the production for whoever that she allegedly did something with? No. It's giving very much, go on live right now, Stunna. We're going to go on live together. You're going to clear this up because you're not going to make me look like a dummy. That's basically what I feel in this live. I did, That's just what I feel. It's just giving very much forced. Let me just say this. And then he started popping and talking about some, oh, now, cat, wow. I would stun it out you knowing that you had some on her what was she like it's just a back and forth thing clearly cat didn't care about what stun had on her because she still said what she had to say if she really was concerned about anything being said about her she probably would not said nothing but to the fact that she just came out and just started exposing and saying stuff she clearly is like okay like what proof do she have of anything okay now we do not how this how this is gonna go and but we do know that he does have a little bit of a tendencies of touchy touchy and have an anger issue because that time when she was on live and she was like yeah where the guys and the girls at and then he was like what you say he was cursing her out the phone fell. Everybody thought that he, you know, did something to her. But people were saying that he hit the phone on the floor. All type of stuff, y'all. But let me know what y'all think about this. Because it's getting crazy. Alright, so that's the end of the video. I'm going to give my quick little rundown thoughts of everything. Let's start with Caramel the Barbie. I said what I said regarding that. This will be the last video unless something drastic happened. I just really wanted to put this out there as a PSA. That people in the comments, y'all really not doing anything. You're not making me mad. You're not hurting my feelings. Europeans are Europeans and that's just that. If I respond in a certain way, I'm not mad. It's just I'm giving you the same energy you give me. I'm human at the end of the day. And if I decide I'm going to respond, I'm going to respond. I don't have to I want to and that's the difference I don't respond to everybody but like I said I have people like her is other people that I talk about and think going to my inbox you know really mad about my opinions but it is what it is you putting things out there public for the whole world to see why are you mad at it when people repost and put their opinions on it it makes no sense at all but she'll be all right she blocked me she and her feelings she's gonna stay in her feelings because everybody's just gonna look at her like a dummy like it just is what it is like we all look like dummies one point in time in life, okay? We're not going to stop doing dummy stuff. Like, it's always going to be something. We're not perfect humans, okay? But for y'all to be online and publicly put your stuff out there without any type of privacy, that's your decision. I can do all the dummy stuff that I want, okay? But y'all are not going to know about it because why? I'm not getting, putting out my business. That's the difference. <laughs> so if you want to put your business out, like if I put my business out there and somebody start reposting and talking smack, okay, that's it is what it is. I put it out there. That's my fault, okay? Can't change nobody's, you know, you can't change nobody and how they feel about certain stuff. That's just how the brain works, all right? You think about something, that's just what it is. But anyways, that's all I had to say about that. Roly, like I said, that's my girl. I love Roly. That's like one of my favorite like reality TV people, period. Okay, you can't tell me nothing. I never will body shame anybody because my body is not perfect. So why? You know, even people could look at me and be like, okay, she look a little crazy. And just like me, I could look at somebody and be like, okay, her body's crazy. And my body not crazy. It's not hating. It's not nothing. It's just opinions. I know my body not perfect, but that's not going to stop me. But like, oh, well, you can't talk. Yes, I can. I can say whatever I want to say. It's like people can say whatever they want to say, but that's just that. This is my channel, and I'm going to just pop my stuff. That Krishana Blueface, like I said, Krishana Blueface there. I don't know what's going on with them, but we shall see. 
they're currently filming crazy in love season two um it, it, it looked kind of cringy looking at them in some of the scenes because it's just really not giving very much so we shall see how everything plays out i'll see y'all in the next video i love y'all